Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these Christmas bell earrings. You could make them not only for Christmas, they look like flowers and will look really cool in many different occasions and colors. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. In this way, you will know when I release new videos with matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets. You could also help me if you like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store. You will find link here at the i icon and down there in description. And there is a discount code for free USA shipping. So if you like what I'm showing you here, let's continue with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are two hold beads that could be twin beads or smara beads or super duo beads. I think the super duos are the most spread so you could use them and I'm using 11 ounce seed beads, pearls that are 8 millimeters. You could use different type of beads if you want and I'm using here ear wires, two jump rings and only two beads of 8O size where I attach my ear wires. Okay, and I'm using here size 10 beading needle and I prefer to use monofilament for this project. I'm using here scissors and I use pliers to attach my ear wires to go through the difficult beads and I squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. So this is it. Okay guys, and now I'm back and what I want to do is take four of these beautiful beads here to hold beads. Okay, I'm using Kasmara, but the twin beads are the same. And uh, the super duo beads, of course. Okay, and I'm sliding them down. And now what I want to do is make a knot here, okay? And I will make a knot by making a loop and going, let's say, say three times around this loop. Because I want my knot to be really secure. I'm pulling and I will make one more knot just in case okay and now you see what I have now I will go through these twin bead through its center okay like that And then what I want to do is go through the same twin bead, but through its outside empty hole. Okay, now I will take two twin beads, okay, and I will go through the next twin bead through its empty outer hole. Then I will take two more twins, like that go through its empty outer hole okay two again go here two more okay like that Now this is what I have guys, I'm going here through this bead, uh, the monofilament is transparent but I'm sorry I should make them with monofilament uh, to have a better shape not to be too soft and now what I have to do is go through the outer hole of this twin. Now again I'm changing directions but don't worry about this. Okay, then I'm going to take one twin bead and this is the row where I will start making my curve here. 
I want my work to bend down because in this way I will start making my bell okay like this you see it's already working and I'm adding only one trim bead everywhere here This is the top part of my bell. Here I'm adding only one bead everywhere. Here is the place where I tell you that if you feel that somewhere the bits are not really secure, you could go back, reinforce it, and then continue to the next row, okay? And the way I'm doing the next row is the same like I did before. So I'm going here through this bit that's sticking out, through this twin bit that's sticking out. And again, as I'm going through its inner hole, what I want to do is go through its outer hole, outer empty hole, the same like I did before, okay? Then again, I'm changing directions, okay? I will take one twin bead, go here through this one, okay? And now I want to take one more. And I'm going here. Okay, pull. Okay. Go here. Pulling. And everywhere I'm adding only one bead here. Okay, and here is the last step of this row. I'm taking one bead here and I'm adding it okay like that and here I'm going through my next twin bead and again as I did the whole time I'm going through its outer empty hole and changing directions. Um, just to tell you that in this way you could make a beaded bead. And I showed you a tutorial for this one. But now I will take, take show you how to make a bell. Okay. Now, I'm starting a next row. Okay. One twin bead. And I will go around like this.
ok and here is the last bit from this row and I'm going here like that ok and now what I do is that I change, change directions again like I did before ok guys and after I change directions you see here I have one, two, three rows from these uh, four bits that are in the center. One of them I'm counting one, two, three rows. And now I will make one more row after this point, okay, by adding one bit everywhere. Okay. Okay, and this is the last bit from this row. You see how I'm adding it. And I'm going here through this bit and through this one. Oops, my thread is sticking. Okay, and now I'm going through the outer empty hole of this bit. And here everywhere I'm going to add two super dual beads okay and I'm going through the empty hole of my next bead again to super dual going here through the next hole and I'm going to add two beads everywhere need to think at this step just add two bits everywhere at the empty hole of your next twins Or super dues, okay. You see how it looks now. Okay guys, now this is what I have. I have this part of my ear of my bell earring almost ready. Now here it is. Okay guys, but before I make my last row, I just want to tell you that I don't like how my bell sits. That is why I'm going to reinforce it. I will make it tighter. Um I will make my beads stay better next to each other by going twice through them okay and um, i will go here first then in my next row up and down up and down then i will go back 
to show you the last row and I will do this off camera this tightening up of my beads and I'll be back okay guys and I went around up and down several times and now I feel that my bell is really secure I like it this way and I will go down to finish my work go as many times through your beads as possible so you feel your bell is really secure and nice and tight okay okay now I'm exiting here out of this bit and I will go through its empty outer hole like I did before and here I will take only one seed bead and I'm going through it like that and you see here where I have my two beads meet here between my super juice I have one bead and here my beads meet I don't have anything in between them and here at this step I will add three beads Okay, like that then here at these beads that are separated by one bead I'm adding one seed bead here when the be where the beads meet I'm adding three here I'm adding one again then again I need three okay three then one three again one and three and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row what I did here is just I alternated three seed beads one seed bead all the way around and now you see how it looks from this side okay it looks like a bell already and now I will have to attach my ear wire and I will attach my pearl in the center okay so now what I'm going to do is go through all of those beads in this direction and I want to exit here at the top okay and I'm exiting here from this bead and I will take just one of these eight o beads and I will go through the opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to you see like that because I want to position this into the center of my work okay then I will go here and I will fix this one one more time 
okay and I will go one more time and then my goal is to skip it and go inside those beads in the center of my work like that okay And now guys, I'm exiting here in the center. You see my thread is going in the center of my work. Okay guys, and now as I'm exiting from the center of my work, exactly out of the center of my work, you see, now what I want to take are nine seed beads. Okay, now what I have here are nine seed beads and I'm sliding them down like this then I want to take my pearl slide it down as well and then I will take one more seed bead like this slide it okay this is what I have and I will skip my seed bead and I want to go through the pearl and through all the nine beads here I'm going through all of them like this and what I do is that I pull and now this is what I have okay then I will go again through the center of my work like this and I will pull and after I pull I have this you see how cool it looks I have my bead attached in the center of my work and now what I want to do is to make a final touch and make some knots here. Okay, where to make a knot? I will find a place between two beads. I will make a loop. Go once, go second time through the loop I've made and pull and I'm going to repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread okay guys and when I cut my thread this is what I have and now I'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire you see how cool it looks okay now in order to attach it first I will take my jump ring and I will open this up with my pliers okay then what I do is that I will put it here inside my bead at the top then I will put my ear wire like this and I will squeeze back okay I'm squeezing back And now guys, this is what I have. My Christmas bell earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my Christmas bell earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. Uh, in this way, uh, you will be notified when I release 
matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be make, able to make beautiful sets. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there you could also check my new merch store where I have a free shipping for USA. So you could order some, some stuff from there. Check it down there. And this is all from me. Bye-bye.